And we're back to it. We're about to do it. Talking to Ibuki and find out more. This about music. Nowhere. I'm in a slump. Big slump. I can't think of the lyrics at all. I'm saying out of the Ibuki. Um, wants you to inspire her lyrics by reading poems to her. Please, 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 Hajime, Sir Hajime, Master Hajime. Ooh. And I'm making this poem off the spot and read it to Ibuki. It feels like Ibuki and I grew a little closer. Yeah, let's give her that fucking ukulele. Does nobody else want it? There you go. Why, uh, hello there. What do you want to play today? Hey, we're done with the club? Hey, hey! What are you talking about? Playing's a big part of music clubs. You know what's the most important thing about playing music in a band? Err. Uh... Err. Uh... That's the only? <laughs> ding, 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 you got it right. Yeah, that's correct. It's all about that. Band members performing as a singular unit on stage. That is the ideal live concert. That's what the greatest music is made. In order to do that, it's particularly important to eat cake with everyone after school. The journey today is to roll your ass to the back of your head. It's impossible. Also, you gotta learn how to break guitars and how to splatter pig guts. Those are the three basics. No. Oh my, my, my. Are you gonna give up before you even do it? I have a reward for you, you know? If you were able to withstand this right now, I'll make you a stage costume. You're the one who's gonna make it? Of course, suing is a minor necessity when you're in a band. I see. Now she mentioned it, everything Ibuki is wearing looks really unique. It only feels she puts her heart into making her clothes, so she's not just making another commercial product. I feel like I'm finally able to understand Ibuki a little bit better. Yay! Anyways, after being constantly bombarded by weird topics, I was exhausted and went to my room. I'm going to bed. All right. Try to go for a 40 minute video this time, guys. Ah, an announcement. Oh. Go the fuck to bed, you fucking ingrates. Okay. That's something for a motive. Time to go to bed. The Monokuma Theater? Yeah! You guys? This time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste that time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or you want to forget, you all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. Doesn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? Do your best about worrying about things and killing time. Alright. Ew. I'll take it. Ding dong, bing bong. Is it now morning? Good, nom, nom, what the fuck? What the? <laughs> what a huge success! I received such a nice reaction. How did you get in my room? Jeez, how'd you make you so careless? Careless, let me sure I locked the door. I destroyed that worthless lock. Why? Hey, hey. Yeah, who cares? More importantly, this is something I important need to tell you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Hiss. Now that was just three. Ah, uh, if you got time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet at me at the restaurant. I'll explain the details there, so I'm counting on you. He is like a hurricane. She came into my room. She broke my lock. She broke my lock! Why did she break my lock? Did you, did you know about this? Hello there. Hi, uh, good morning, Hajime. Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that our eyes have met. You really are a kind person. Hey. Anyway, after what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I was saying a little better now, right? What do you mean? You don't know? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that was felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. He used Peko's death as a step ladder so he could shine even brighter and cling to an even stronger hope. What? You? I mean, you don't agree? Well... Let's decide that what hope should be. That's why you and the others have... Progress forward. 
Oops, we should chat later. We need to be at the restaurant soon. I'll go on ahead. Okay. Um. Is there anybody else I can tell about? Nikomaru. She broke my lock. How's you, Ajay, man? Were you also somebody by Ibuki? Yeah. Is she going around waking people up? Did she break the lock to your room, too? Nah, that never happened. I was awakened by a knock at my door going at a 337 clapping rhythm and I'm shouting. That sounds extremely annoying. Was I the only one whose room got broken into? But for her to go to the trouble of waking us up, what in the world happened? I have a very bad feeling about this. Let's make haste and head over. Nah, fuck her in. Take my sweet ass time talking to everyone. The princess. Hello. Good day. Good morning. I am also glad today is another clear sunny day. Another more like, actually now you mentioned it, ever since we came to this island it hasn't rained once. Why is that? No, it might be best if I don't think about that too deeply. No Chiaki. This is a surprise. Let us go. He's not even playing video games. What did Ibuki do to Chiaki? When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was everyone's backs as they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? The setup peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got what? something I want to say. This is dope as fuck. For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Well, he shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced Boo Yu He Ko. Boo Yu He Ko. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. I've immediately put him to the top of my priority list to get to know. Mostly because of the eye patch. You fiend. Just what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing really, just a greeting. There's no way that was just greeting, and yet I feel like that was the first time Yuka ever greeted us. <laughs> that eye patch of yours. Nah, that's nothing. No way that's nothing, since that eye is no longer... We can't see out of it, huh? huh. <laughs> it's only one eye. Besides, doesn't look like I've gained some prestige or something. Hey, oh, Hiko. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Do oh, you really think we'll give you for that easily for what you did? Don't you get it? It's your fault my hero is dead. No, not just my hero. Paco died because of you, too. Hey! It's all your fault. Oh. Um, Yoko, we've finally been able to get it together with everyone. And? Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. There's no way Killer Like Him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. Mm. My fault that those two are dead. You. Are you planning to give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezes those words, Yuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. For you, Hiko. Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry? Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No, I don't think that at all. <laughs> Bleeding. <laughs> Biohiko slit his own stomach. Huh? What what are you saying he cut open his friggin' stomach? What what are you doing? I didn't think I'd be forgiven by such a half-assed apology. But if I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. Yeah, this guy obviously doesn't know about anything with the Akaza. You're supposed to take off the pink dude. Or at least you know. Cut off, uh, the first knuckle of it. Come on. Hell, if he felt like it was a really bad thing, you would cut off the entire thing, though. This is... Stop it. I can walk there by myself. There's no way you can walk. You know I took the time to patch you up, and now I need to sew you up all your wounds over again. I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Who cares about that? Let's go! 
But for those of us who are left there. Well, this is awkward. I should start up a conversation. Well? Hey, Yoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but. Um... What would Mahiro say about all this? I know you guys are best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiro say? Yeah, what would Wendy's do? WWWD. Say. Let us pray to the altar and receive an answer. She'd probably get mad. Oh. Really mad. Oh. 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 Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> she'd slap the shit out of you, Hayoko. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be easy for to move on. We never had a thing about death until we came to the silence. So when we're focused, forced. But we're suddenly forced to confront it. There's no way we knew we were supposed to deal with it. Okay. If I do it in a dumb voice, I can read it just fine. We're not that strong. Hey. Hmm, this is a rare occurrence. If you think about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. They wouldn't know where Kana is. Huh? Ah, now that you mentioned it, she's gone. It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about that, too. Bad feeling? I mean, doesn't she be acting a little weird these past few days? Oh, He's always weird. Hmm. Man. But I'm a little worried, though. Yeah, I get it. You can be dead right now. Let's go find her. Why do we go to our cottages? I should take a nap. Fuck. Got him doctors in this room. How do you say Macon's- Wait, why is Macon in her room? Hmm. Jeez, this is the Rock Punch Market. Maybe we should go see her? Just to be like, hey, are you alive? Nakamaru is at the Chandler Beach. Uh... But no, I wanna go... I wanna go straight to the boy. I- I need to make sure he's okay. I don't want to make sure it's okay. Fine. 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 Eh, I guess I'll talk to Ibuki. If anything bad happens, the game will tell me. Yeah, hey, Ibuki, where you at? You're inside the storage room. Yep, oh, means I get a walk. Walking's not a bad thing. You can level up a bit. More stuff for when somebody eventually dies, which will happen. Also, the fact that he fucking slit his stomach open was dope. He is the most badass character. I love the Hiko. I mean, he was an asshat, but I've always loved him. This is style. So good. Push that tie. Fucking love that tie. Hey, look, it's the dumb bitch who caused uh, him to slit his stomach. Feel good about yourself? Hmm? Bitch. He's the other character I just will never like. Kind of like Terra Terra. She's a white cunt. Don't like her. At all. I mean, I'll befriend her because I have to, but yeah, I don't like her. He <laughs> could sink into a sea of blood. Uh, let's hang out. I see. That I guess I really do cut open this stomach, except that I should use the experience to come up with a song. Oh, oh, Name of the song will be Oh My God, There's Blood Everywhere. I like this song title. We grew closer. Yeah. Hey. Remember that ukulele I gave you? Well, I thought, hey. What would be the fun of just having one of those? I mean, really, you're, we're gonna smash it, we're gonna do all sorts of things to it, we're gonna decorate it, first of all. So I thought, hmm, you know what's better than one? Two. Good job! Meow! Oh, Why did she just meow at me? And then what should Hajime and I play today? Alright. I've decided today we're gonna do 1,000 practice head swings. Head swings? I'm not just called head wing. Ibuki will start off. As soon as she said that, Ibuki started swinging her head back and forth with amazing speed. Guar. 
She's so fast that her head is a blur. I can't believe her tiny neck can't keep up with that. <laughs> you do too, Hashime. It's fun. Why? I had no idea why I was doing this, but I decided not to think about it and just played along with the bookie. My head is ringing. Da boom, da boom, ba doom, ba doom. Just as I thought, there was no meaning behind it, but I felt like a lot of stuff I'd been stressing about mysteriously lifted off my shoulders. Oh my, my. Maya, Jime, you look pretty fresh and. I feel like we were playing pretty well together just now. I, I mean, Ibuki I just realized it. When I'm with Hajime, Ibuki plays really well. I just remembered that Ibuki left her old band. Apparently, she was a member of a girl band that was at the height of their popularity. Hey, Ibuki. Why did you leave your old band? Was it because you had creative differences with them? Aww. Hmm, how should I put it? Creative differences? Personality differences? Well, it's not that big of a deal. The de destiny of a band member, after all. Hey, hey! Like I said earlier, what's most important is a sense of unity. Technique is something you gain by just by practice. But you won't know if the group is really mesh as well until you together until you try it once. And if it's no good, that's something you can't really help. That's why Ibuki doesn't really regret leaving the band. Aww. Being alone is a teensy bit lonely. I see. I guess I can hang out with her. And play more music that I don't understand. I shall keep playing with Hajime Dede. Let's continue our headbanging. This time it's for the championship. Whoever loses has to dunk his monomy. We're competing now. I ended up banging my head until I lost consciousness. We double knocked out. Thank God. Cool. So we uh, parted ways and I went back to my room. Nice. Nice. Need to go get another gift. Hey guys, it's your favorite section of the videos. You know, this is gonna be a longer video anyway, so I'm definitely gonna do this with no regret. We go to that beach, son. We have 153 coins. We're taking that number down to 100. We need to unlock more shit. This is the way you do it. Trust me. This is how I did it in the first game, and it worked perfectly. Give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, duh. Another t-shirt, which I still don't know who would even want. Uh, carrot. Again. Made outfit. Hmm. Boots. Uh, Bastion's head. And cherries. Made outfit. Amara. Bag. Coconut. Who's draw sticking out? I love coconut. What the fuck is that? I tried to give it zero coins for something. Ah, oh, yes, another pen. Nice. Uh, another fusion reactor core thing. Some tennis shoes. I think they're the ninja shoes. Another silencer. A uh, bag of roses or candy or something like that. A kazoo. Pretty sure that was a kazoo. Comic book dude. Another reactor core. Don't know who would want that. Uh, battle training outfit. I don't know. Oh fuck! My phone just buzzed at me. It terrified me. I think that was a laundry basket. A laundry machine. Another slinky. Miss Iguana. Uh, <laughs> Golden Unicorn Horde? I don't know. More cherries. Uh, another Golden Unicorn Horn. It's broken at the tip. Uh, white out. Uh, flushed white. Calendar. 
temperature thing. Uh, I don't know, fucking dominator with the steering wheel. Another bag. Cup of coffee. Another book with a bunny on it. Another book with a bunny on it. A handkerchief? I don't know. Another fusion reactor toy. A coconut thingy. Another one of whatever the fuck that is. Some pink salt, I assume. VHS tape. Actually, it's probably a set. Maybe a bookie would like it. Whatever the fuck that is, I have three of them now. Another maid outfit. Some more D20s. A fan. Another ink black pen. More boots. Another doll. Another pink thing majigger. Another broken golden unicorn horn. A cup of tea. Another fusion reactor core. Another skull mask. Another calendar. A ring. Another seed. I'm guessing that's again the training armor, which I would probably give to, uh, what's her fuck it? Akane. Alright, another book. And makeup. I'm gonna send it to Night Guard, just because I can. And another bag. We have a lot of those bags. I don't even know who wants those bags. Also, we spent like only three minutes doing that. That wasn't bad for going through almost more than 50 items. Almost more than half of. Right? No, I honestly don't think she'll actually ever be leaving the music venue. Oh, let's go. Yuhiko and Mikan are at the uh, hospital. Probably can't see him yet. It'll be another day. Then he'll come in and chop off a fucking finger. He remembers that's what Yukuza actually do. Or Yakuza, not Yukuza. Yakuza. I wonder if a boogie would like the maid outfit. <laughs> I thought she looked real cute. We are staff. How close are we to finishing? Witty Buki, ooh, one away. This might be it, guys. Hello. What's up? You want to do something with our Buki? Yeah, they're buying out. No problem. Let's talk openly about stuff. That seems calm. I was just bullshit. Cool. The best way to hang out. Yeah, let's find that kazoo. Or that cassette. She probably likes the cassette more than the kazoo. Fresh bindings. Yep. Secret boots. Ooh. I hope speak rain. Another hope. This valuable diamond was created from the remaining fragments of the original Hope Diamond when it was cut long ago. Rumors persist that death falls in when who has them a item in their possession. Oh, I have three of them. I better die three times. Meteorological instrument that measures the temperature, humidity, barometric pressure by shooting a balloon into the sky. A bastion that shoots balloons. 
cooking device that makes pho simply by putting leftover rice inside it. Vietnamese food has surged in popularity due to this item. Ah. Some wings, alright. American clacker. Ah. A nitro racer. A slap bracelet. That's the kazoo. Uh, another battle. Desperation. Collection of famous songs. Heck yeah, this is this is what you want. So what are we doing today? Before we get to that, do you remember anything else you made? Anything? Yes. You know about your talent and stuff. Since you've been hanging out with Buki for so long, you should remember to tell them by now. Huh? And all the stuff we did just now was to help me remember. <laughs> Wrong, Buki just wanted to play with Hajime. <laughs> but Buki Miyota, the goddess of music, thought you might remember something so I stimulated his senses. This is going nowhere. But I guess Hajime was too dull for it to work. Dull. Well, I never expected that Buki was actually thinking about me this whole time. Didn't even notice. I feel a little ashamed. Hey, hey! Well, it's fine, it's as long as you don't worry about it. I mean, the Hajime and I know is the same person you've been from the start. What do you mean? <laughs> Pretty embarrassing, so I don't really want you, you to make me say it, but... Actually, it doesn't matter at all whether or not you remember. Because Hajime is already standing right here. Feels like you're somebody who's willing to go far away to search for yourself. I see. But your true self doesn't actually exist anywhere. The person standing right here right now is who you are. The person who's changing every day, that's you. Believe finding every yourself means accepting that you're someone who's constantly changing. Even when you're worrying about other things, you're still you. <laughs> Just kidding, you could try to say things that she no wouldn't normally say. Why, you? After all this, this is the very last event. Ibuki thanks, I think. No There's no need to thank me. Because Ibuki is able to remember something she hasn't felt for a long time after playing with Hajime. <laughs> the importance of giving your all at when expressing yourself. You're always doing that. But expand on that. The important part is to do it together with someone. And they want to play music with someone who trusts me as much as I trust them. It's always been Ibuki's dream. <laughs> I think believing that dream comes true as long... Oh, I think that believing dreams come true as long as you believe in the first steps towards fulfilling your dreams. That's a little complicated. Easy peasy. All you gotta do is believe. So, no matter what no happens matter from this point forward. From oh. this point forward never, ever give up. Yeah. Promise. It's a promise. Ibuki said that with a seriousness I've never seen her display to anyone else. Kind yeah, of surprising that I'm actually learning from her, but her words took root inside my heart. Won't give up. Definitely leave this island with everyone. <laughs> Hachibi, you're making a very nice face. Now, today's training is stealing a kind of snack and kicking Nakamaru in the butt. <laughs> AKA, pick a fierce fight with two raging demons. Are you seriously going to do that? Of course. Yeah! Now, let's get on with it. I frantically ran after Abuki because I had no idea what she was going to do. But I no longer feel like she's dragging me around like she used to. I feel a strong bond between Abuki and myself. Yeah! Dynamic duel. Or duet. Eh, who cares? Use unlocked skill shred guitar! Yeah! Oh, yeah, that part too, I guess. Uh Somehow narrowly avoided death and made it back to my room. Good. Good. Team Dark outside. Decide time already. Huh, I felt fast. Ever since I arrived at the silent, a day passes by abnormally fast. Doorbell. That means someone's here. As we walked to the door and opened it slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya. <laughs> Fast tense. Nice to meet you. You know, since we've already changed, nice to meet you is. Maybe hey, you again. That's totally it. Let me just apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a lot better than the last time you when you broke into my room. <laughs> you must be the type of old scratch my ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So do you want? Um, the bookie doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent out to everyone. Invitation? Yes. See the thing? What the? That's totally a girl's handwriting. Let's see, a recovery party for Fuyuhiko at Titty Typhoon at 9 p.m.? What is this? Is Monica Moose doing again? Why, you? How rude, don't put this in the same category as Monokuma. Is this you're doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. Buki just brought the invitation. Definitely heard. Well then, Nabuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead. Leave it, leave it to you. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Um, did you fight with Typhoon's music venue? Yeah. 
Yeah, we've been there a lot. That's in 30 minutes. Well, he just slid his stomach this morning. But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. Let's go! I'm gonna walk. Just so I can see more people and get their reactions. For the YouTube views! Yes, that's quoted Bear Taffy. And yes, it's great. You're welcome. Oh, I was checking my pet real quick. It's been quite a bit, and we've been walking around quite a bit. No, I kind of want to just let the pet feel ultimate despair and see what the fuck happens. To the third island. It's really about the same distance no matter where I go since it's pretty much in the exact middle. Come on, go faster. Faster. My shift keeps dying out on me. I don't know why. There we go. It decided to be dumb. But okay. Alright. Also, for it being nighttime, what the fuck is going on here? Totally looks like daytime. Music venue parking. Much better. I guess it's just a city of neon lights. Nagato. Nagato Buki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be there celebrating for you because of their recovery, so no matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. <laughs> hey, you don't have to worry about me. You can go inside first. I'm not worried. <laughs> I don't care about you. This too must be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Vehicle's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic. It's now then, let us begin the ceremony of darkness. Ah, oh, who cares anymore? Eh? Hey. Your mom? Who knows? Yeah, everybody's here. In via Hicko. Damn. There were people already arrived at the venue. Music venue, but... Via Hicko, why are you? Huh? What? Is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. What? I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork oh. yourself. I'm not overdoing it. Jeez. Fine, then. Just let him do whatever he wants. What? It's fine, just let him be. Apparently I can have a pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fihiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. I'll be trying his very best to change. Looks like Hiyoko didn't come. That seems to be the case. And not here, he too. What would that wild woman be off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. As a funk, you right one and a Kamara and express sunnies, that's when it happened. Oh, hells yeah! Only well, stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was. Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! My specialty is making beef stew! Good enough. <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better! I hope you're all pumped up! I'm ready for some fucking tunes. Ultimate musician. Right. Got to do Start it. singing this first song with full on energy. So put your hands together for from me to you too. I I just I just I'm looking forward to if it's an actual song. Is this supposed to be this quiet? I'm gonna boost all of the audio. I gotta hear this in full volume. If it gets too loud, people, I apologize, but this is necessary.
That was that was pretty dope. All right, volume's reset back to normal. I like that song. That was a good song. Holy shit, guys! We just see it too. Look at him. He's in full metal mode spirit. I'm gonna get cursed. Such an overwhelmingly baleful resonance. Even my fall and dark devils of destruction look less lively than usual. This was awesome. That was headbanging. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school's girl band was creative differences. Dude, that was fucking great. Yoko? Hell yeah. So what if I did? I was invited too, you know. If you're attending Fioka's recovery party, that means you've already... Don't misunderstand. There's no way to forgive him that easy. Because he's the yeah, actor. You know, he's the type of person who will praise on people by tricking them. Even though he's probably just pretending to be sorry, so he can trick us all. Please wait. There is no way that is possible. I no, I get what you think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. Get it? That doesn't mean we made up our uh, anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. So. Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's going to get cut off. Sorry. <laughs> so touching. Mikan is crying from how touching that song was. Because I have no right to cry, you're grossing me out. The Fila goes not the only one who's trying to change. It's also trying. Huh. No, the Yoko would. There's no way she would ever forgiven Fioka like this. At all. What are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. It's all the more reason to worry about him. Manakuma. No way he's going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring. Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Hey. Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and play this next song. Yeah! Is it time? Oh shit, I'm going to mute my mic and uh, turn this shit up for you guys. By the way, yes, I'm fucking digging every second of this. Well, I actually have to turn it up first. There we go. We good. Huh? There's still more? Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance to... I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. <laughs> what? <gasps> okay. Okay. Stop it! Aww. Well, now I'm just let down. Where's the next song? Jeez. You don't even fear, huh? It's enjoying such a fun party, too. I wasn't invited to the party? <laughs> yeah, obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. Which you did. Seriously, now's not the time. Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? Akane is... Akane is dueling Monokuma. What? what? At this point, Akane's gonna be in danger. Please, do something to save her. Maybe? Looks like my bad feeling was correct. That's a stupid fool. No, I'm the one that was a fool. It was my mistake to not keep my eyes on her. <sighs> As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of an athlete's private life. Damn it! This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life. Well, my name is Nekomaru Nidai. Um. Now's another time for regret. Let's make haste. Can I stay by and listen to the song? If you could finally return to us, the thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it! I will never allow it! Hey, Monami, where's the Kane and Monokuma? They're at the beach where everyone first arrived at the island. Please hurry. If you don't, Akane's gonna get killed. Not to tell me, I'm going full speed ahead! We should hurry too. Why? Nakamura's got this totally covered. Hey, everyone. I'll tell it. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half baked concert. Half a comfort. This were a song would be titled Salt Seeping to My Broken Heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Well, you should make a fuss here. Let's hurry over to the beach already. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I want to say something. Let's just run to the beach. Get those levels up. Make sure I talk to everybody on the way out. Just in case I actually see anyone. 
I know I need to hurry, but come on. It's not like there's an in-game timer. There's no time to spare. I need to hurry over to the beach of the first island. Let's go! Level 45, boys! Although I'm sure she'll be fine unless Monokuma insta-kills her. Seems like our island uh, is prepared for that. Especially with the ultimate nurse. Man, this is intense. Can't even think of funny commentary to say here. It's just intense. I want to listen to more of Ibuki's music. What if it's on YouTube? I mean, you know, besides my video. Yo, Jackie, what are you doing here? Why aren't you at the beach? Hey, Jackie, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Calm down. Huh? Yeah? Well? I'm sure we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. If we don't hurry, Akane is. Hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane, too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, got it. I'm okay now. And let's go. Yeah! Talking to people. It's important. After running there at a full sprint, by the time I got to the beach, struggled to regain my breath. Thought so I can see in full before me. Akane, looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Well, why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. Yeah. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Are you just really serious about not even grazing it? Kenny's just fighting a stuffed animal. <laughs> Matakuma is an advanced machine designed for combat. It's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she said she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? However, it's because it's possible that why she's in the situation, right? As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should be able to overcome the despair if Akane's death and use this tool to bolster our hope. Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see. Never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that feeling over that way again, I'll make sure I stop. Even if it costs me my life. No! You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. Damn it! It's just a little life Pekko gave me. Not precious anyway. You're a stupid idiot. That's all the more reason you need to take care of it. Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take care of it from this here. Is Maru Nidai's final firework. Make sure you sear it into your eyes. Now then! It looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this. Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules. Disappear. <laughs> the world suck and turn to start white. As if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. Within that white, I heard a voice. Uh, uh, Nekomaru! N Nekomaru! Why did you... S save... <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. H however, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai! It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> G get a hold of yourself! Nekomaru! Akane, the time I've spent with you, it. it wasn't so bad. Don't. die. Akane. <laughs> Damn. Are you kidding me? 
Nakamaru died. Holy crap. This is a rule violator iconic. What a major failure. Ended up killing Nekamaru. Had nothing to do with this. Hold on. Man, but his heart is still beating. Not dead yet. You gotta hurry and treat him. Hey, Monokuma, you can do something about this, right? Save Nekamaru like you saved me. That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you one of the, the one who violated the rules. Let's just say we're even. Change for forgiving a candidate for breaking the rules. Let's just say Nakamura was a sacrifice. Is it an okay to say we're even? You're not gonna save him? Please, I guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if you had a meaningless death. So for today only, I'll activate my special trump card. It's it's the fucking siren again. Just leave the rest to me. Dr. At least you guys get to see it with good quality audio. Pew! He's like a god. Why? What's going on? He's gonna be alright, right? Nekamaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course he's obviously gonna be saved. Uh, Pew, he can finally return to us. I can't believe Nekamaru's gone no. now. No more, I can't stand this anymore. Hey. You stop yelling, screaming won't help you, you know. Cause, cause... You, this isn't cuz, it's what happens when we let our guard down. I was talking about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. Yeah. We were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. Stupid ones will be just killed, one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed, so I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. I think it is meaningless for us to even work together. Shut up! It really did have a meaning that tomorrow wouldn't have ended up like that. Ended up like that because of his weird feelings for friendship. You. And you understand too, right? When stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes life trouble for everyone else. Hey. But can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Yoko, blaming Ikane will not help solve anything. Huh. We don't have to worry about Coach Nakamaru. Huh? Huh. That's disappointing. It's all your fault. You're not even worried about him. Oh. Oh, you're not worried about Nakamaru? No need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Nakamaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die for something like that. No doubt. Nakamaru is definitely going to come back. When that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. That was too weak, and it caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Akane. Fucking damn. This is... This is dark and deep as hell. Jesus. Madoka Mr. Fables, Story 58, a Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengu showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. Was it really the Tengu's fault? Isn't it actually the human's fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tengus lived? The monsters are scary. It's humans that are scary ones. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Not a cube super fables, the end. Nice. Wait the fuck up, you ungrateful motherfuckers! Now then, let's show some in As usual, well even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I agreed to the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. Felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. Go to the restaurant for now. And we will do that on the somber note next time. Leave a comment if you... What the fuck happened? Like, Jesus, just leave a comment on what the fuck happened. If you liked the video, please subscribe. See the next one. Peace out.